What if Yellowstone Volcano erupted? Join us on this gripping journey through nature's fury. First few seconds. A series of violent earthquakes rattles the Yellowstone region, with the ground trembling violently. These tremors are a result of the tremendous pressure building up beneath the Earth's surface as a vast reservoir of molten magma begins to ascend towards the surface. As the pressure intensifies, a massive explosion occurs, shaking the ground with incredible force. The explosive eruption causes the volcanic crater at Yellowstone to collapse inward, releasing an enormous column of volcanic gases, ash, and pyroclastic material into the atmosphere. This fast-moving mixture of superheated gases, volcanic ash, and rock fragments surges down the slopes of the volcano, obliterating everything in its path. The pyroclastic flow engulfs forests, rivers, and structures, leaving behind a trail of devastation. The combination of earthquakes, the powerful explosion, and the destructive pyroclastic flow marks the beginning of a cataclysmic event that will have far-reaching consequences for the surrounding area and beyond. First few days, the colossal column of volcanic ash rises several miles into the atmosphere, extending for hundreds of kilometers in all directions. As it spreads, the ash settles over a wide area, blanketing cities, towns, and vast agricultural lands. Simultaneously, heavy acid rains commence in numerous surrounding regions. The combination of volcanic gases and moisture in the atmosphere creates acidic precipitation that falls from the sky. These acid rains have detrimental effects on both the environment and infrastructure, corroding buildings, contaminating water sources, and damaging vegetation. As the ash continues to circulate in the atmosphere, it acts as a barrier, blocking sunlight from reaching the surface. The entire Yellowstone region and the surrounding areas are plunged into darkness, resembling a perpetual nightfall. The absence of sunlight has severe implications for ecosystems, as photosynthesis becomes inhibited, affecting plant growth and disrupting the food chain. Temperatures plummet dramatically due to the cooling effect of the volcanic ash. The ash particles reflect sunlight back into space, leading to a decrease in solar radiation, reaching the Earth's surface. This rapid cooling effect results in extreme winter conditions, with freezing temperatures and frigid winds sweeping across the affected regions. First few days to one week. The pervasive darkness continues to shroud the Yellowstone region and its surroundings, exacerbating the already dire situation. Without sunlight, visibility remains limited, hindering rescue and recovery efforts. People rely on artificial light sources and flashlights to navigate through the ash-covered landscapes. The ongoing drop in temperatures intensifies the impact on agriculture and food supplies. Crops that have managed to survive the initial eruption now face frostbite and freezing conditions. The loss of agricultural productivity adds to the mounting challenges faced by the affected population. The devastating effects of the initial explosion and subsequent acid rains continue to spread over vast territories. Water and power supply networks collapse under the weight of the ash and the corrosive nature of the acid rains. Communities struggle to access clean water as reservoirs and pipelines become contaminated or damaged. Electricity outages become common, plunging affected areas into darkness and further hampering relief efforts. During this critical period, the affected population and emergency responders face immense challenges as they strive to adapt to the harsh conditions and coordinate rescue, evacuation, and resource distribution efforts. Two weeks after the initial eruption, the volcanic ash begins to settle creating a thick layer of fine dust that covers the entire region. The ash is composed of microscopic particles that remain suspended in the air and settle on the ground, coating everything in a grayish layer. This heavy ashfall significantly compromises air quality, making it hazardous to breathe without proper respiratory protection. The fine particles can penetrate deep into the respiratory system causing respiratory distress and posing a severe health risk to the population. The devastating impact of the eruption on plant and animal life becomes increasingly evident. The thick layer of ash smothers vegetation, preventing sunlight from reaching plants and inhibiting their ability to carry out photosynthesis. As a result, plant life in the Yellowstone region suffers near-complete annihilation. Trees, shrubs, and grasslands are severely affected 
with most vegetation succumbing to the lack of light and the toxicity of the ash. The consequences for animal life are equally devastating. Many species, including birds, mammals, and insects, either perish or are forced to flee in search of food in suitable habitats. The disruption to the food chain and loss of critical habitats leads to a collapse of ecosystems in the region. Rescue and aid efforts begin to reach the affected region. But the challenging climatic conditions and extensive infrastructure destruction pose significant obstacles. The heavy ashfall makes transportation difficult. As roads are buried, invisibility remains poor. The disruption of power supply networks hampers communication and logistical operations. Additionally, the extreme winter conditions and frostbite risk add further complexities to the provision of assistance. International organizations, governments, and neighboring communities mobilize resources and personnel to support the affected population. Emergency shelters are established to provide temporary housing and distribution centers are set up to deliver essential supplies such as food, water, and medical aid. One month, the aftermath of the Yellowstone eruption continues to have far-reaching consequences, even on a global scale. The massive amount of ash and gases released into the atmosphere has a significant impact on the climate. The volcanic aerosols and sulfur dioxide emissions combine with moisture in the atmosphere to form a dense layer of particles, creating a global cooling effect. Temperatures drop worldwide, resulting in altered weather patterns, disrupted growing seasons, and an overall decrease in global temperatures. In the affected region, the challenges faced by survivors persist. Food shortages remain a critical problem as agricultural lands are covered in ash and unable to yield crops. The loss of livestock during the eruption exacerbates the scarcity of food resources, leaving many communities dependent on relief supplies. Clean water sources are also severely affected, with ash contamination making water sources undrinkable and leading to an increased risk of waterborne diseases. Medical resources are stretched thin with limited access to healthcare facilities and a shortage of necessary supplies. Reconstruction and recovery efforts begin to take hold, but the path to recovery will be long and arduous. Infrastructure, including roads, bridges, and communication networks, requires extensive repairs or complete reconstruction. International aid and support continue to pour in, with neighboring communities and countries extending their assistance. Humanitarian organizations and relief agencies collaborate to provide sustained relief efforts, focusing on addressing immediate needs and establishing long-term strategies for recovery. Emergency shelters are gradually replaced by more permanent housing solutions, ensuring the displaced population has a safe place to live. Amidst the challenges, resilience, and community spirit prevail as survivors come together to rebuild their lives. Local initiatives and volunteer groups contribute to the reconstruction efforts, helping to revive communities and restore a sense of normalcy. Community gardens and alternative farming methods are implemented to address the food shortage, while water purification systems are established to ensure access to clean water. The road to recovery will be long and challenging, requiring sustained support, resources, and collaboration. The affected region must navigate the complex task of rebuilding infrastructure, restoring ecosystems, and supporting the physical and emotional well-being of its inhabitants. The lessons learned from the disaster will shape future preparedness measures and reinforce the importance of global cooperation in mitigating and responding to such catastrophic events. Thank you for watching today's video. If you found it informative, we invite you to subscribe to our channel. Feel free to leave a comment below and be sure to stay tuned for more exciting videos coming your way.